wins, helping Stephen Light today. Again, experience. Oh, we got one on the roof, the seven car. Andrew Upside Myers. Down, Andrew Myers coming across, well, almost up to the start finish line. Caution flag flies for the second time as we complete our 23rd lap. All the other cars getting by safely. Be curious to see the replay there, but when you look at the car upside down and there's no corners that are knocked off, he had to get turned around and, and the air just tumped him over. You see the drive shaft still spinning. Uh, obviously, the motor's shut off, but uh, there we go. Still waiting to see Andrew Myers make his way out of the number seven, and that's another one of Bobby Gerhardt's. Just cars. saw the window net come down. Here we go on the bottom, just gets sideways by himself. Kenny, what'd you say? Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he got a little bit loose uh, when the car was going around the outside of him and tumped it over about as simple as you're going to here. Yep. What kind of a ride is that, Ken? Well, that's not bad. <laughs> it's, that's not bad at all. It's just if he'd have gotten that grass with about yep. 60 mile an hour more, then it could have got exciting. You see him right here on the bottom of the racetrack. Got Billy on the outside of him. He wants to come up, and he has to. He doesn't have the room there. Nope. So he gets the car bound up, and it just... Just takes off. Wow. Well, and these cars are going over 180 miles per hour. I talked to the pilot when I flew down here from Charlotte in a 100-ton uh, airplane. They say they only go 160 miles an hour when they actually lift off the runway. So these cars are going faster and weigh a lot less. It's easy for them to get off the ground. Here we go out the rear camera. Wow. See, the car just turned sideways so fast that the roof flaps really didn't have time to come up and keep that car on.